my name is Crystal Harvey and I'm a student at the University of Georgia. I'm a Jamaican and I'm an alumni of the Immaculate Conception High School. So this video is for students, parents, or persons interested in furthering their academic career as we will be discussing the educational opportunities here in Tbilisi, Georgia. Tbilisi offers a gateway to affordable and quality education. There are so many academic programs that are accredited worldwide, giving students of all walks of life so many opportunities to virtually work any and everywhere. This video will be focusing mainly on the University of Georgia, with a mention of a few others. But before we get into the academic aspects, let's further explore Tbilisi, Georgia. So Tbilisi is a city nearly as old as the snow-capped mountains that surround it, never fails to impress with its auspicious and unmistakable charm. With more than 1.5 million inhabitants, Tbilisi is the largest city in Georgia. Tbilisi has rapidly developed in residential complexes, shopping malls, and entertainment centers which have burst upon the scene and now intermingle with the city's older architecture. Before jumping into the academics available, let's discuss why you or your child should consider traveling to Georgia or Europe on a whole for studies. I will be reciting points and notes I have prepared early on. Okay, so first on the list, which I think is the most beneficial of them all, is affordable tuition fees. Now, school fees in some European countries are very affordable. You will find that some programs that would normally be challenging for some persons to afford in the Caribbean is easily affordable here in Georgia. The best example to date is the tuition fees for medical and dentistry programs, ranging from 3,500 US dollars to 6,000 US dollars per year. So this benefit can reduce any potential debt one may incur in their academic career. Secondly, we have vast accreditations. Studying in Europe opens many opportunities for you to live and work in many countries apart of the EU. Thirdly, we have experience in a new culture because there is just so much there to learn and see. Persons may find that cost of living is more affordable in some countries in Europe and that is definitely the case here in Georgia. Such as food, transportation, utilities and other necessities are priced at a very low rate. So by one of this, we have persons will develop increased adaptability which is a great trait to have when wanting to experience the many wonders the world has to offer you. Number six, we have the opportunity to learn a new language, which will eventually increase your ability to multitask. Another great benefit is that you will develop lifelong connections on an international level that can be beneficial to you any way you see fit. Ease of living and maneuvering is one I have taken into account, as all forms of institutions are easily accessible and are walking distance away. So that's great. You will be open to more affordable traveling opportunities within Europe. Visiting and touring neighboring countries in Europe will be conveniently accessible to you. Now for the academics of Georgia. As mentioned before, Georgia has many universities open to giving you the opportunity to achieve all your academic goals. With respect to the University of Georgia, they offer bachelor, master, single cycle, and graduate programs to international students, with prices ranging from US dollars to US dollars per year. They offer bachelor programs such as bachelors of business administration, engineering, information technology, nursing, pharmacy, and philology. They offer master programs such as Masters of Philology, Business Administration, and Information Technology. Single cycle programs for Medicine and Dentistry. And lastly, graduate programs for Entrepreneurship and Innovation, Security Studies, and Global Governance. Additionally, the University of Georgia offers Fall and Spring Intake. That's Tiviani Medical University, DTMU. Next, we have the Caucasus International University, CIU, and they offer medicine, dentistry, pharmacy, and business administration. We have the East European University, EEU, which offers medicine. We have Georgian National University, which offers medicine as well. New Vision University, which offers medicine, business administration, business and information technology, politics and international relations, medical rehabilitation, and nursing care. Next, we have Georgian Aviation University. They offer bachelors in aeronautical engineering and bachelor in commercial pilot. Next, we have the main Java Kishvili State University, TSU, where they have medicine and dentistry available. You have the Tbilisi State University, where they have medicine, American MD program, meaning you will be viable to work in the US freely. They also offer physical medicine and rehabilitation. You have the Alt University, which offers medicine. Georgian Technical University, which offers biomedical engineering, mechanical engineering, computer science, electrical engineering, computer engineering, civil engineering, and construction engineering. All the courses of the universities that I just stated are just a few that they offer. Please do visit their websites or contact me to refer you to an agent who can give you a full scope of what opportunities there are for you in those universities. But going back to my notes, you have the option of choosing to go through the process of moving to Georgia on your own with the help that I am providing in this video and the links in the description box below or using an agency to complete your process of moving to Georgia. Now, I highly suggest, I highly suggest that you work with an agency because it takes a lot to 
get settled here in Georgia and the legal taste might be a bit tricky and it would be awesome and great to have an agency, a trusted agency that can guide you through the process and with the information that I'm providing, you can track your progress along the way. Agencies, however, come with some level of risk being as they are strangers leading you into a legal process which is new to you and they may or may not be 100% trustworthy and can pose a risk of being scammed or placed in difficult situations. I personally have been through a more unfortunate experience where there was a lack of transparency with the students due to these so-called agents being incapable and unaware of the exact legal procedures themselves. For this reason, I aim to offer as much transparency to the process, providing a brief overview of the necessary steps for studying in Georgia so that each person can track their progress and gain trust in a reliable agency based on their own informed judgment. Ultimately, I would love to spread the good news of what Georgia has to offer students, showing that the gates of the world are open to you. Again, links will be provided in the description box below so the information is at your disposal. With the information and experience that I have, I am happy to say <laughs> that I am associated with well-trusted agencies which have very capable lawyers who specialize in the legalities related to applying to the universities, visa applications, and residency procedures of Georgia. Their service is designed to make the process as smooth as possible as it entails more than just applying for school and visa, but also settling in in a whole new environment. I will get more into detail about the services that these trusted agencies have to offer later on in the video after giving you a full synopsis of what it actually takes to get settled in Georgia. Then you can fairly judge whether or not it's worth it to go through an agency or do it independently. And I'm pretty sure after hearing about all the details involved in getting settled in Georgia, you will be considering that agent. There are three major legal steps to make studying in Georgia possible. These are applying for the University of Interest and in this video I'll make reference to the University of Georgia. The next step is to apply for a legal entry to the country of Georgia which is any form of visa or visas and ultimately obtaining a B3 immigration visa. Very important. And lastly, the application for your temporary residence permit and TRC card. Mm. Requirements for applying to the University of Georgia, you are required to provide a copy of the applicant's passport, copy of their previous education. If you are applying for an undergraduate program, the applicant's high school certificate equivalent to 12 years of studies is required. So that will include your O-level and A-level degree certifications, which in the Caribbean's case would be the applicant's CSEC and CAPE certifications, and a minimum of three passes are required. If the applicant is interested in applying for a master's program, then a copy of the bachelor degree is required. Please note, applicant certificates must be notarized by the Ministry of Education here in Georgia. Recorded interview. The duration of the video should be between three and five minutes, where you will be stating your full name and passport number, introducing yourself, where you are from, family background, and previous studies. Indicate why you have chosen to study in Georgia. Where did you acquire information about the University of Georgia? Explain why you chose this university. Indicate which sphere of study interests you and why. Let them know if you have acquainted yourself with the program description and syllabus on their website. Verbally confirm your request to register. Now that is what you need in the recorded interview. Lastly, you will need a receipt of the application fee. All of that information can be found on the University of Georgia's website, so just go check that out and all the information will be there. Underage applicants should additionally present a copy of their birth certificate and copies of their parents' passports. Transfer applicants should additionally present a transcript and syllabus and further information is found on the website. Additional notes are English tests and other program-specific tests like chemistry, physics, and biology are required after enrollment. Then you will receive an invitation letter instructed to pay tuition fee. Once that is done, the student will receive an accommodation letter and health insurance from the university, which will be required for the next step in the process. Moving on to the next step, step two, which is visa application and obtaining a D3 immigration visa. So visa applications can be found on the Ministry of Foreign Affairs website placed here. You can also find additional information on what each visa can be used for. In other words, types of visas required to apply for a residence in Georgia and the website link will be here. There are a few ways in which applicants can go about obtaining access into Georgia depending on their nationality and the visa or visas that he or she holds of different countries. On the Ministry of Foreign Affairs website, some countries are listed which allows access for three months up to a year unless stated otherwise. And this includes a few Caribbean countries, for example, Cayman Islands and Guyana. Currently, the students who have US visas are allowed up to three months in the country, which is enough to apply for the appropriate D3 immigration visa and then your temporary residency card. 
So check out the details on the ministry's website related to an applicant's specific conditions of access to Georgia. If the applicant's country is however not a part of the list and is not a holder of a particular visa which allows them access for more than 45 days, then these options are for them. Option one is applying for a D3 visa at the Georgian Consular Office, which is embassy abroad, which is the standard route. Depending on which country the applicant is from, he or she will have to apply specifically to the embassy assigned to process their country's passports. For example, the Georgian embassy assigned to Jamaica is located in Mexico. This information can be checked on the website again. This is good for persons who have family members who can be trusted with valuable documents in Mexico or have no problem traveling to Mexico to have this sorted. This visa is valid for six months. Ensure the applicant gets to Georgia with ample time ahead of them to apply for their TRC, which is a temporary residency card or temporary residency permit. 45 days is the least that is required. Least. This, on the other hand, can pose an issue for persons who do not have those fortunate circumstances. Now, the requirements for this application is to submit an e-application for booking a time for the submission of a visa application at the appropriate consular office physically, whether personally or by a representative. In the e-application, the applicant is required to fill out and provide the applicant's personal information, a passport size photo of the applicant, travel information on when the applicant intends on flying, so looking at potential flights is advised. Next would be applicant's address during your stay in Georgia. There is also the option of leaving a comment regarding your situation. Whether or not you have received a letter of invitation issued by the university, health insurance which is issued by the university, proof you have enough money to sustain yourself in Georgia being a bank statement of the previous six months amounting to at least 2,000 US dollars and more information that can be given on demand. Note that you will have to pay for this e-application as well. When the date is booked, the applicant or representative is required to be at the embassy at the appointed time with the physical copies of the relevant documents. A response will be given after one week of applying and a payment for the visa will be required. Option two. The second option will be to apply for an electronic visa, which is an e-visa, which is considered a C-category ordinary visa, which allows up to 30 legal days in the country. E-visas are meant for short-term visits, but can be used to gain access in the country in order to apply for the appropriate visa, which is the D3 immigration visa. It takes five days to receive a response, so apply for your e-visa with ample time before deciding to travel to Georgia, and not exceeding three months because e-visas are viable for up to three months after issuance. So these details can be found on the website as well. I highly urge you and encourage you if you are interested to read as much information that you can that's found on these websites so that you know and you are aware of the progress and where you are in the process. The applicant will then fly to Georgia. Policies state that a C-category visa is unable to apply for TRC. Therefore, the applicant must apply for a D3 immigration visa in order to obtain TRC. To apply for D3 immigration visa, the applicant must have 45 legal days ahead of them and the e-visa only grants 30 days, which is not enough. The applicant must instead apply for a visa extension, which is only issued once. Once granted, the applicant should then apply for a D3 visa, which again lasts for six months. These applications are done at the public service hall, which is commonly called Justice House. Documents needed for the e-visa application online. Of course, you will have to fill out the application online. Passport, passport size photo, you will need the invitation letter, accommodation letter, and proof of monetary sustenance, which is a bank statement. All documents should be placed in one PDF file and uploaded. The documents required for visa extension are the application form, a copy of your e-visa, TRC letter from the university, invitation letter, accommodation letter, copy of passport, translated and notarized copy of passport, passport size photo, which can be taken at the public service hall. The documents required for a D3 immigration visa at the local Georgian consular office are TRC letter from the school, which is ready one day after requesting, owner's form, representative of legal address for one year lease, the applicant's personal information, passport and visa, a passport size photo, which again can be taken at the um, public service hall, health insurance, which is issued by the university, proof you have money to sustain yourself in Georgia, being a bank statement of the previous six months amounting to at least 2,000 US dollars. And of course, more information that can be given on demand. And lastly, translated and notarized passport and visa documents. A response will be given after one month of applying and then a payment for the visa is necessary. Once completed, you can move to the last legal step of the procedure. So step three, the temporary residence card permits you residence benefits up to one year. At least 40 legal days are required for this application and is also done at the public service hall. This application is required to provide proof of legal permit 
which is a copy of your D3 visa, TRC letter from the university, passport size photo, which can be taken at the public service hall, translated and notarized copy of passport and visa, copy of passport and visa, TRC application form, bank statement showing six months balance and a minimum of 2000 US dollars. Please note, reapplying for this TRC every year or six months, depending on the balance, of the bank statement requires much less and can be done online so if you were traveling you can reapply wherever you are during the processing of your trc you will later need to provide another owner's form now that we have taken the legalities into consideration let's discuss other important issues such as accommodation choice of banks um similar services and more now we have renting of apartments firstly select an apartment where the owner is willing and available to sign the applicant's owner's form. Very important. Some may be unwilling or inconveniently located, example, if they're traveling or they live far. Renting apartment is usually done by leasing, lasting either six months or to a year. It is important to make sure that the lease lasts up to a year for application reasons. You have the option of staying there or moving to find another apartment after the lease is up. Some owners are free to increase or decrease prices after lease ends. That's if you do decide to stay at the same apartment. The person or persons are required to pay the first and last month's rent upon moving in. Based on the arrangement of the owner and details of the lease, normally the last month's rent is either lived out or returned depending on the state of the apartment after your stay. Another thing to note is that the rent is collected in US dollars. Apartments vary in cost and may differ depending on when students arrive in Georgia. If student plans to live alone, apartments generally cost 400 US dollars up. A few will start at 500 depending on the location. If student is sharing with roommates, a two bedroom apartment generally starts at 600 to 800 US dollars. Apartments can be shared by two or more depending on the homeowner's wishes. There are no dorms or hostels located on the University of Georgia. Other universities may provide dorms or hostels on campus. Now moving on to banks and transferring money. Banks will be needed for the provision of bank statements and ease of commerce. The banks I'm most familiar with is TBC and the Bank of Georgia, BOG. The preferred bank and the one I would suggest is the Bank of Georgia based on the experience and service. You are given a student account which is a universal account where you can send and receive money in various currencies. Please note that the Bank of Georgia requires a 24 hour hold of any funds within the account to give a bank statement. So you can take that into consideration when gathering your documents. Another thing to note is that bank cards can be used to pay bus fare when traveling. Sending and receiving money from Caribbean banks will require an intermediary bank. This, however, is not the case for some non-Caribbean banks such as Revolut. Money transfers are best done through Western Union as you can send and receive money through any TBC or BOG branch and are more cost effective than bank direct transfers. Banks are widely spread and easily accessible. There's a branch here, there's a branch there. There are ATM machines here, ATM machines there. Very accessible. Lastly, a cellular service is very necessary. You will be receiving one-time codes when opening bank accounts, receiving incoming calls and filing out application forms. It is also necessary for easy maneuvering as you will need the help of apps such as Google Maps, Yandex, which is a reliable taxi service, Postal Translators, Moveit, which is a reliable bus tracking app, and Currency Converter, which is self-explanatory. Flights. So let's talk about flights. Flight prices generally fluctuate throughout the year, as we all know. So for persons traveling without a US visa, I would suggest using Condor. So this is for my Jamaicans. Condor has flights from Sangster's International Airport in Montego Bay, to Frankfurt in Germany, to Tbilisi, Georgia. Germany allows 24-hour transit for Jamaicans. You can call the embassy located in your country to find out if the country you are transiting through allows transit for your nationality. Now, as you can see, the process for moving to Georgia can be challenging, but not impossible and definitely worth it. You can see where an agent could be useful in the preparation of certain documents with the Ministry of Education and reserving apartments and much more based on what I've explained earlier. The agency I am associated with is fully equipped and capable of sorting all illegalities and more, such as administration fees for the University of Interest, pick up on arrival, accommodation until situated in an apartment and sorting of documents by the Ministry of Education with an express service for ease and of course many other details upon discussion with the agents you will realize how much it will make your process much much better <laughs> when flying to georgia for school you just want to focus on your studies while you know you have your agents running up and down and sorting all of those documents for you to start documents you know everything when you arrive it's with ease and you don't have to worry about anything 
it is worth the money <laughs> it is worth it the service is going to be worth it even now as a student who knows what it takes to come here and all the processes i would still use an agent <laughs> i would still use an agent it's a lot and just to you know organize everything and getting everything settled for when you're when you arrive and everything an agent is necessary okay okay <laughs> moving on a small price to pay for the rest of your academic career and you achieving your goals so if you or anyone you may know are interested in studying in Georgia or in Europe on a whole and you would like to work with trustworthy agencies, feel free to contact me at this email or send me a message on Instagram saying applying to European universities. I'll be more than happy to refer you to reliable and trustworthy agencies so that you can achieve your goals of studying abroad or just further in your career, whatever it is that you find out of this opportunity. If there are any other questions you may have, feel free to send me an email to the same email I posted before and I will try my best to respond or refer you to a capable lawyer. You can also follow my Instagram to keep up with any Q&A questions regarding this topic. So if you do decide to embark on this journey, I do wish you the utmost best and God's blessing and thank you so much for watching. I encourage you to reach for the stars, go after your goals, don't let anyone stop you there are opportunities out there for you to grab the doors of the world are open to you you just need to grab them don't be afraid you know just do it so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was very informative and i hope i was able to help someone to be one step closer to achieving their dreams and please don't forget to like share and subscribe and hopefully i will see you again in my next video bye